what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here just want to come on here really quick and share my thoughts on the upcoming sequel to don't breathe don't breathe 2 which is slated to come out later this year in august sometime um this is the long overdue sequel to the 2016 hit horror film that stars stephen lang jane levy and dylan minette who we know is going to star in the upcoming screen five that film centered around three friends who basically had a get rich quick scheme they decided to break into the house of this old war veteran and they're trying to steal the settlement that he was that was recently given to him due to a tragedy that had occurred in his life with him losing his daughter. And they think they're just going to get in and get out real quick. But this war veteran, despite him being blind, all his other senses are very heightened. And he basically gives them the fight for their life all in that one night while they're trying to steal this money from him. And I know a lot of people back when that film came out, it was being heralded as having one of the best twists in recent memory. The movie itself was pretty, pretty good. It was a definitely a very good home invasion film one of the better movies from 2016 a very well made horror film but the twist was was over exaggerated in my opinion i feel like the twist saying it's the best twist in recent memory i saw a lot of people saying that i'm like no not not really but <laughs> don't breathe 2 is coming later this year and it looks like the blind man is up to his old tricks again and it looks like he might be the hero this time because the synopsis is reading a little differently than what we were accustomed to from the original film basically in this one the blind man has been hiding out for years in an isolated cabin and has taken in and raised a young girl orphaned from a house fire now fans of the first film or if you've seen the first film you know that he lost his daughter due to an unfortunate accident which is what led him getting that money and he tried to get his daughter back you know that infamous turkey baster scene he had someone down there holding that holding the person responsible for his daughter's death hostage and since she took his daughter his mentality was telling him you're going to give me another one and he was basically you know putting his semen inside of her and she was pregnant with his child so the fact that he now is living with a orphan child out in the cabin somewhere it seems like he has found his replacement daughter in some in some ways from this from what we're seeing from this brief synopsis and basically what ends up happening is that while he's raising her their quiet existence is apparently shattered when a group of kidnappers show up and take the girl forcing the blind man to leave his safe haven and save her now see that's very different it's making it sound like the blind man is the hero here but here's here's my thing they're saying that she was orphaned how do we not know that what i'm expecting to happen is that there's going to be a twist in that uh, where while we're thinking the blind man is going to be the hero here, in many ways, this could be other relatives of that orphan girl who have somehow located her and her whereabouts and have been following this blind man, and they've constructed a plan to take their their cousin, doc, cousin, uh, niece, whatever, back from this blind man that has been taking care of her that's what i think could be ending up happening here they could very well have a twist come into effect where these kidnappers they're actually relatives of hers and the blind man is gonna go after them because you know he wants to have his daughter back in his life he was very heartbroken over that and he wants to have his daughter back in his life so of course if his replacement daughter gets stolen he's gonna go after her but i feel like what we'll end up finding out is that these kidnappers they have a connection to this little girl i'm expecting them to have some sort of connection there'll probably be other relatives of hers who have been looking for her uh maybe they'll explain something that'll probably debunk my theory explaining how he became how he how he got custody of her what i'm thinking is that maybe this girl will end up being shown like a missing child and he's just been keeping her and they've been looking for her maybe this is a missing child scenario that we could see but i'm really excited for it i can't wait to see what this has to offer because it's kind of flipping the narrative a bit with the blind man seeing like he's going to be the hero this time around because they're describing these people as just kidnappers i feel like we're going to learn something about these kidnappers that aren't going to make them seem like the typical kidnappers that we're envisioning these could very well be her relatives trying to save her from this crazy man and then on top of that i've seen speculation that maybe jane levy could return because you know at the end of don't breathe there was a there was a scene that got cut the alternate ending showed him like following her out of the airport you know she left for california so 
I'm expecting Jane Levy to appear in some capacity. I'm just holding out hope for that. She doesn't have to. Um, I'm just excited to see what this film has to offer and what direction they'll take this in. Because Stephen Lang is saying that this is very much his own film, but it's connected to the first movie in ways. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.